I I am was from the city of the forest. Yeah, we're talking about what we're doing today. Uh, his latest project. How do you, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, I can go ahead and introduce myself. Thank you, Angela. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Drew Wico. I am currently an intern with VCU's Partnership for People with Disabilities and Center for Family Involvement. I'm a current graduate student at the University of Pittsburgh's Graduate School of Public Health studying human genetics. So, you, have you been working on this summer? So this summer I've been working on a genetics lecture series for the community. Um, genetics is very complicated, so the best thing we can do as public health officials is try and educate people wherever possible. Well, I definitely understand how genetics can be scary, especially with how complicated it gets from time to time. But the reality of the situation is it's one of the most prevalent and common things to think about. Um, everything that we discuss and cover in science can tie back to genetics um, and genetics really impacts your overall health um, from disorders to diseases genetics always plays a part so having more information on it so you can talk to your doctors as well as your own family can help you understand what risks you have so what are the things that you discussed in the videos so we discuss a lot of things from what at its root genetics is. Um, along with that, we discuss how to look at your family tree or pedigree and try and build your own so you can better understand what trends exist within your own family. So you can, again, talk to your medic medical professionals and healthcare professionals um, to best cater the approach for yourself. Yeah, and you, you go to a lot of topics. Mm -hmm. You talk about some of the topics topics that you discussed. So we've discussed some topics from what a gene is and how a gene functions. We've also discussed, like I said, pedigrees or family trees. Um, we're also kind of transitioning into some new material, which is covering how genetics is portrayed in our world, really, through pop culture and things like that. But we're also making sure that we talk about the important factors, like um, how genes vary between different disorders and how much of an impact each disorder has from genetics alone. Uh, why is this topic important for families? This topic is really important to families because especially if somebody is affected by a disease or disorder, anybody in your family, that could impact your own family whether it's your aunt and uncle that is affected or one of your children. So the more education we can have on genetics and this topic overall, the better families can prepare for whatever comes their way. Uh, what do they do if they have more questions or more information on the topic? So, all of the videos are available at the Center for Family Involvement and Partnership for People with Disabilities pages on Facebook. We are also having them posted on the YouTube channels associated with them. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We try to look at them as frequently as possible so we can answer any questions that come up. And if you have any preference for what we do in future lectures, please leave those below because we would always love some feedback and future direction. And further be an op, op have it be an opportunity for education.